Hey YouTube, this is Donish from jobskillshare.org. You probably heard me so many times saying the same thing. Hey, this is Donish from jobskillshare.org. Uh, let's get started. So today we're starting something new. Uh, new in a way that we want to start a series of videos based on labs and um, basically we do unique things in this channel and we want to do the same thing for these videos. So what are we going to cover in this a specific series of videos about labs for example if I tell you that you know I'm gonna give you a car um, now of course that's a physical thing that's like you know something that you're going to be using and then you should know why I'm giving you this car and what you're going to be doing with this car and how you're going to be using this car so this is the same thing if we're giving you these labs and all the access and if you're brand new to IT then let's say you see something like CompTIA A plus lab or CCNA lab or something like that then we should go over it just kind of summarize it and give you some type of like you know uh, just do a conversation on these tasks that you're going to see so in these videos we're not going to do an actual task because that really doesn't make any sense you have to get the labs and do it yourself to learn that but we'll tell you what this task is about uh, and how you can see some of the real-world examples related to these tasks. So let's get started with our first CompTIA A plus lab. And now I picked CompTIA A plus lab because that is kind of like the starting for a lot of people when when you're going to our certification route. Everybody will tell you to start with A plus. So we're going to be doing the same thing. Uh, so we're going to cover all of the CompTIA A plus section in our series. So maybe one lab may take multiple videos to finish. So today uh, we are going to start CompTIA 220.902 CompTIA A+. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And here you see this right on the top left side. You can see the A+, lab will provide you with necessary platform to gain hands-on skills in the fundamental computer technologies. Basically they're saying this is kind of like the starting point for a lot of people. By completing the lab, the lab task you will improve your practical skills in windows operating systems other operating systems and technology like security software troubleshooting operational procedures so this is geared towards that entry level positions these labs are like you know you want to become a help desk you want to become a user support technician desktop support technicians these labs are geared towards that and this certification is also kind of targeting that titles right there now of course on jobskillshare.org we have created a full course which we tell people that you know this is not it uh, you really need to know more than that than, than this now if you want to land a job and that's why these courses are so powerful you can go to jobskillshare.org or check out my other videos in this video I'm only focusing on the lab and what it can provide you so as you can see right on the left side uh, CompTIA 902 is an entry-level certificate aimed at IT professionals or those seeking to enter into the IT industry just like I explained this practice lab focuses on the practical aspects practical aspects of 902 exam so basically this is not these labs are not covering theories or something that is you cannot really cover like you know by doing it you need to know it by watching it some of the like you know pictures or by opening a hardware and touching it and things like that that's not going to be covered in these type of uh, you know tasks these are all only the tasks that you can do it on the computer uh, using like you know technology like web browsers and things like that so let's go over the lab guides and here this is kind of like what our video is about this is the main reason we're doing this by going to these tasks right now and I'm gonna say installing Windows part 1 and I'm just gonna click on it and and then basically I'm going to start this task now on the right side if I had to let's say if I bought this lab I could really follow these directions myself and then do it on the right side but if you're brand new to these labs you're brand new to IT even by doing these tasks will kind of like okay I've done it I drove that car now what do I do with it you know that's kind of like what I'm trying to achieve from these videos now now this lab is also focusing on exam uh, exam so on the left side you can see exam objectives and the lab time is given and then there's like a lab diagram what I'm interested in is more into a task and you can see right here manual installation of Windows 7 here so when you see this manual installation of Windows 7 10 anything think to yourself and ask yourself a question when you finish all these tasks is this it are you going to be only doing this what is 
something else that is related to this task. That is exactly the key of this video is that in a real world environment, you are going to be dealing with many other type of, you know, manual installations tasks. One could be, first of all, you need to know how to install an operating system if you're going to be working on operating system. That is just a common sense kind of thing, you know, that's where you start. But then there is going to be other scenarios where you may have a laptop and those laptops are, let's say, for rentals or something like that. And they're not only your domain environment. Maybe for those laptops, you just need to do fresh installation from the scratch. So you need to know how to install operating systems on that type of scenario. Now, you may be working in an environment where they are using Windows 7 and they want to upgrade to Windows 10. Now, Windows 10 is a new operating system. So at first time when you are creating image now when I say image or any terms like that make sure if you don't know you need to go back to jobscashare.org and take the courses but imaging just in quick way that Windows 7 let's say you got like 40 computers and then you have 40 more Windows 10 on the way when they came in and imaging will be making your life easy by basically putting one machine you create a one master image you do the first installation that manual installation that you're seeing right here on that one windows 10 machine and then the rest you learn all your techniques and put all put just that one image on other 40 windows 7 machines and you upgrade them that's like the imaging part but the manual piece is still there you still did the first machine a manual installation on that machine or maybe you did something pretty bad in that first image and now your 40 other computers have a pretty messed up image you really need to go back and do another manual installation so you really need to know and master this skill by installing the manual uh, you know learning the manual way of installing operating systems no matter how good of a tools you have in your system it doesn't matter you just need to know that because your last option is going to be you know manual installation and fixing it so this the whole exercise is about you know just installation and you're done that really doesn't cover the whole thing and you know after this there's other things like the, the things that I talked about imaging that stuff I have covered that in the courses so it's like a combination of these two things that you're watching these videos you're doing these labs and then you're basically uh, you know um, taking the course kind of give you a complete um, skill all right, so let's talk about the second task, which is installing Windows Part 2 introduction. The, inst the installing Windows Part 2 module provides you the instruction and devices to develop your hands-on skills in the following topics. Install Windows 8.1 using Windows, Dev oh, Windows, Dev <laughs> Windows Deployment Services, Prepare Deployment Services, and in the left you can see the exam objectives. Now. What is this? What is this task about? I know you're going to go and then you'll do it and you will finish it. But this task is about, you know, when you go to the environment in a, in a business world, in an enterprise level type of jobs, you know, IT jobs, you're focusing on doing things using tools that can automate your process. Now, the first example is pretty cool. You know, if you have a manual installation, let's say, for example, my manager bought 40 more machines that she told me that you need to upgrade it from Windows 7 to Windows 10. And if I knew the first task, which is manually installing Windows 10, and that would that would be the first thing that will come to your mind as a new person. You will think, okay, those are 40 Windows 10 machines that came in. Well, how do I upgrade them? Then you're going to look around and you're going to say, oh, I mean, the, the task that I know from this lab is to install it build a new machine everything is up on on the on the right side this is windows 10 and the left you have windows 7 you took all the data you put it into windows 10 but think about that multiply that with 40 other machines and if you had to spend at least 40 or one hour on that machine one machine multiply that with 40 others that's not going to be you know the way you're going to be doing your it stuff so you really need to change that and you become more of an IT person and how are you going to do that you're going to learn things like deployments using other tools like imaging tools and stuff like that so then when you have 40 machines which is which are the older machines you have the Windows 10 brand new machines you took a master image of Windows 10 machine and then you deployed on all of these Windows 7 machine and you probably will be done in a few hours 
and that's it you may even do some stuff and then you'll you know you'll just basically get a chai like this drink it and then eat it and then come back and everything is done for you so that is the main key in this in this section that's what you're going to learn and trust me if you're going to become an it pro if you are going to be landing at a desktop support job and if you're going to be going to a big environment they will ask you that in the interview do you know imaging do you know how to use deployment tools maybe they will ask like specifically you know about windows deployment services or maybe some other big imaging tools so make sure you go to the help desk course and you finish our imaging section i have a full section covered on that i have showed so many different tools of doing this task in a real world and i basically show the videos and everything so i hope i hope this is a good starting for these lab type of talk videos and if people are welcome to come into this video and comment how they are doing this task you know they may have something really cool that we don't know so that will be the way we will do our videos as you can see we just finished uh, installing part one and part two in our next video we're going to be talking about retrieving system information and what type of tools do we use to you know or come type of scenarios we come across to finish this task all right so this is a summary time i talked about some of the things like go to the course watch it on the course if you're brand new and you'll be like okay what is he talking about so if you're brand new this is a site jobskillshare.org you need to go in there and if you want to buy these labs you can buy either single lab i'll put the link in there or you can buy it through the membership the membership gives you a full access to like the whole labs that you're seeing on the left side it gives you one year uh, one year access and uh, when i talk about that help this course which is a free course a lot of people are in that course right now so if you go to the course you registered even with a free membership you can see there's almost 9,000 people over 9,000 people in this course right now all you have to do is to click on the help this course right here and i use some terms like imaging and stuff like that of course i would like you to start this course from the top to bottom but if you're interested in that specific things that i'm talking about the video this is what i was talking about desktop imaging and this is where i have shown all of these cool softwares and even on the real world environment i made videos and stuff like that to give you a perfect picture for someone who's watching these labs and are combining all of these courses that we have done together to give you a perfect uh, starting now what do you need to do next make sure you subscribe make sure you share this video to people uh, so many people are looking for these type of skills and this will this is something different they will love it trust me so go ahead and, and uh, comment and let me know what you think and if you have any questions um, let me know thank you so much